Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Everybody's talking about the future of green technologies, EVs, smart grids, solar panels. But in Austin, Texas, the future is now. So we're here with Brewster McCracken, the executive director of Pecan Street. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Bradley. Yeah, tell me a little bit about what Pecan Street is overall as a company. We are a nonprofit research consortium headquartered at the University of Texas. What we've tried to do is create the homes of the future solar panels, electric cars, home energy measurement systems, and bring it all together in one place. So you can find out when people are among themselves, their neighbors, what's the dynamic inside the home, and then what is the dynamic of how it impacts the overall system. So you guys are working with Chevrolet. You're gonna have 100 volts within one square mile. Tell me a little bit about how that program came to be. One of the things that we've identified with the electric car is, electric cars represent the biggest new electric load since the air conditioner. Is the electricity system ready for this? The only way you can do that is to let people have their own cars with no restrictions and have a lot of them in a compressed area. A volt costs nearly $40,000, but you guys are matching the federal incentive, which is 7,500. So people are getting $15,000 off the volt. We wanted to be able to accelerate the diffusion, so we knew we had to provide a price incentive on this. You're also giving home-based chargers. We wanted everybody in our research trial to have electric charging stations in their garage because we need to understand from a research perspective what happens when you have that concentration of the big load surges. We're giving them a free level two charger and we're paying to install it. I mean, yeah. can I move here? Like, why why <laughs> yeah. is this? Like, this is amazing. I love this. All right, so we are with Corky. Corky lives here in this community. What's it like living in the future, Corky? It's pretty cool. And it is the future out here. It is. Yeah, it really is. The opportunity to have solar integrated with our transportation and with the way we live was just incredible. On the left here is a gray volt. The right here is a blue Nissan Leaf. A light green Prius plug-in, white volt, light green volt, bright red volt. I mean, this is Electric Alley. This is Electric Alley, right. and this is not uncommon. So you guys are gathering a ton of information every 15 seconds, in fact. Has there been anything that's just been like, whoa, we didn't expect that at all? It was a big surprise to us is that homes that have west-facing solar panels are generating a whole lot more electricity than was ever suspected. So much, in fact, that last summer we had, in August in Texas, the hottest recorded month in the history of the United States. The homes in our research trials that had west-facing solar panels were almost totally off-grid. I got out of here in August. <laughs> You're I like, gave, I, forget it, I'm out. I gave my house for a month to a couple with three little kids. Laundering clothes, the air conditioner's down. Yeah, lots sure. Of, Watching dry. TV, AC's sure, on the AC's whole time. AC's on, clothes dry's on. My electric bill in August of last year was 28 bucks. And I was curious about the car and what that would do. So my bill for April, which was the real first full month I had, the car, my energy bill in April was $3. Game over. So what's the future for Pecan Street? We're moving into some research trials in the Dallas area. We're looking at California as well. A lot of this is understanding what's going on in other parts of the country and also understanding not just what happens in this new green built community of early adopters, but what happens in homes that have been around for 75 years. All right, so this is obviously awesome. This is something you guys are doing really well and something we're huge fans of. So keep on keeping on. All right, so that's it for our time at the Miller Development here in Austin. What's fascinating about it is these guys have created a working model, a proof of concept that shows how to integrate EVs and other green tech into our lives. And what's exciting is other people are paying attention. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.